Today I'm going to show you how to change out the drive belt on a Can-Am Maverick Trail or Can-Am Maverick Sport. In either case, it's a similar process and you should be inspecting your belt at least every 2,000 miles or maybe you think you have a slipping belt or you broke it. Either way, it's a pretty simple process, so let's go ahead and get started. To get this job done, we have a belt spreading tool, a clutch cover removal tool. This is the flex drive from Tusk. We have a spare belt. Now, these are the essential items. Stuff that is nice to have if you're not out on the trail is gonna be these pliers. If you have the belt come apart, this will help you get some of those pieces out of the hard to reach areas. We're measuring our belt with these digital calipers I'm using a 13 millimeter socket. I've got a washer to go along with this splitter. We're also cleaning things up while we're in there. So I'm using compressed air, contact cleaner, rags, and some rubber gloves. You wanna have rubber gloves anytime you're using chemicals. And since we're in the shop, we're gonna be wearing some safety glasses. Now, if you need anything like contact cleaner, a spare belt, or maybe you lost your clutch spreading tool, you can find any of these items on our website or just click the link in the description below. You wanna start out by removing this belt cover. Now, some of these are gonna have a little hose on there you're gonna to have to remove. We don't, and we also removed our rear wheel. That is not necessary, that's just to better show the process, but we have our Tusk flex drive tool to remove these screws all the way around. Now to remove the belt, we need to spread the driven clutch apart. To do that, we're using the tool that comes in the toolkit on your machine, but if you lost this, we have these on our website, so you can always replace them. This just threads into the driven clutch, and we have the bolt backed out all the way. And then once the tool is bottomed out in there, in the center, I'm gonna take a washer and put it between the bolt and the clutch. That's gonna help prevent any damage. You don't have to do this, but I like to. And I've got my 13 millimeter socket. We're gonna tighten the bolt down until we have enough clearance to remove that belt. So right there, we have plenty of clearance. We're gonna start at the top of the belt and just work it down. You wanna pay attention to the orientation of the belt. You can see we have the arrows facing the front of the machine. If you plan on reusing this, then just make sure it goes back on the same way you took it off. The next step is to inspect our belt. Now, if you had a broken belt, make sure you get all of the pieces removed, including any cords that could get caught up on your clutches. And don't forget to inspect the vents for any pieces in there as well. But for us, our belt actually looks pretty decent. So there's a few checks we wanna make. We wanna make sure there's no cracks in our grooves make sure no cogs are missing no cords are hanging off and then across the top you can look down on it if you see any uneven spots or hourglassing where it goes in and out you definitely want to get it replaced now there is a measurement you can take and your manual is going to tell you the service limit on it but if you are not going to measure it you can always use a new belt Another thing you can do is just compare the width of the new belt to the old one. And if you see a big difference, you definitely want to get this old one replaced. Now, since I'm in the shop, I am going to measure our belt. Now, to give you guys a reference, we're measuring from cord to cord on each side of the belt. This new one is measuring 35.75 millimeters. And ours is less than that, but it's still above the minimum spec, which is 34.7. So since we're right in the middle, we're gonna reuse our belt. Since we're in here, I wanna do a couple more things. So first, I wanna run my fingers across the sheaths, or other words, the surfaces where the belt rides. If there's deep grooves, you wanna get that clutch replaced. Ours is looking fine, so we're gonna clean everything up with compressed air. And I'm also gonna use a little bit of contact cleaner on a rag to clean up those sheaths. The reason we're spraying the cleaner on the rag is because we don't want to directly spray on the clutch because there's a couple of seals that you do not want to get this stuff sprayed on. To install the belt, we're going to slide it over the drive clutch and then we're going to work it back onto the driven. Then we can remove the clutch spreading tool. And with that out, I'm going to rotate that driven clutch several times until the belt works itself all the way out. If you don't do this, it's gonna be like starting in a high gear and you're probably gonna burn up your belt. Again, if you're gonna reuse a belt, make sure that it's in the same orientation as when you took it off. Now for the cover, make sure the gasket is in place and in good condition. We're also wiping the cover out and making sure it's clean. And when you install the cover bolts, 
Just make sure you don't over tighten them. You're just screwing into plastic and you don't want to strip those out. So that's how you replace the belt on your Can-Am Maverick Trail or Can-Am Maverick Sport. If you have any questions, leave those down in the comments below. And if you need a new belt or maybe you just need a spare belt, we have those on our website. You can click the link in the description below. And if you wanna see more helpful content like this, make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. I'm Charles with Rocky Mountain ATVMC. Thanks for watching.